Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to earn 7 to 10% gain for the 529 account. Before we start, I would like to show you uh, through Vanguard website on saving more can have a huge impact. So if you save $25 into account and invest into um, the account 529, you actually can earn $42,000 over 18 years. So this is you invest constantly $25 every week. And also right here, if you invest $50 into account every week over the last 18 years, you will earn back $85,000. And if you invest $75 every week, your balance will have an earning at $127,000. So this is assuming 6% um, return of your money. I'm going to show you one of the account that... Um, invested into New York 529 college saving program and the account have a balance of $14,000. The annual personal rate of return, one year is 7%, three year 8% and five year 9%. The investment is based on age option. So the balance is not that much. However, they have been investing into a variety of portfolio, a moderate growth portfolio, mid cap stock index portfolio and small cap stock index portfolio. So the total earning from this account is $1,600 with the principal invested at $12,000. Let's look at another uh, New York 529 college saving plan. This one is also a age-based uh, option as well. And this person had been invested one year with the annual personal rate of return is 10%. So they invested into uh, aggressive portfolio with the earning $700 put down principal $6,000. So they invested over the year and then continue to grow. The reason I'm showing you this because I want you to focus on age-based option because it is important when the child is small, like one or two years old, um, you should start uh, thinking about um, how to pay for their college. And sometimes if you do not have a large sum of money to put at one, you can start with $25. And New York 529 College Saving Plan actually uh, minimum start is $25. So this person have been doing $25 and then it's continue to add as as it go with the investment and then the money keep growing. Now let's look at when you click on the aggressive portfolio, it will pop the window to this area right here. The aggressive portfolio, the current share price is $12 and the expense ratio is 0.13%. So it is very low. It's not uh, that expensive. And then this fund has been created since 2017. So then you can look at more into the investment strategy, what actually they have been doing. So the portfolio invested into Vanguard Stock Index Fund and two Vanguard Bond Index Fund, resulting in an allocation of 52% of its asset to U.S. stock and 35% of its asset to non-U.S. stock. 8% of its assets to investment grade U.S. bond and 3% of its assets to investment grade non-U.S. bond. So as, as you're looking right here, the portfolio asset allocation to each underlying fund are, all of them are Vanguard um, uh, investment into Vanguard fund. So Vanguard total stock index fund, Vanguard total international stock index, Vanguard total bond market um, to index fund, Vanguard Total International Bond Index Fund. So this is what they invest into. And the name of the portfolio is aggressive, which means because the person is still young, this is a great way to invest your money aggressively. So at least you can earn um, all those earnings through time. Now let's look at the first account that we mentioned earlier. So this account, it had been invested into a variety of portfolio. So aggressive growth portfolio, with $2,000 and moderate growth portfolio with another $2,000, almost $3,000. And then mid cap stock index portfolio, $5,000 and small cap stock index portfolio, $3,000. So let's look at the moderate growth portfolio. The moderate growth portfolio with the expense ratio 13%, almost similar like aggressive growth and the price of per share $29. And also this, fund have been created, the portfolio have been created since 2003. Now, the difference between the aggressive uh, uh, growth portfolio, because the percentage of this fund moderate um, growth, it's a little bit less percentage on each individual um, fund. 
For example, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Funds only 30%, the Total International Stock Index Fund is 20%, and Total Bond Market 35%, and Total International Bond Index Fund 15%. So that is the difference between the moderate growth portfolio to the aggressive growth portfolio. Now let's look at the mid-cap stock index portfolio with the $5,000 invested. Um, they have the same expense ratio, 13%. So as long as it's less than uh, 1%, it's all good because this is not expensive um, uh, fund to manage that you have to pay a lot of fee into the uh, management team. So the the mid cap stock index portfolio have the rate of return so far one year is 11% and then three year 9%, five year another 9% and then 10 year is 13%. So the longer you put the money inside the, um, the investment, especially in this uh, mid cap stock index portfolio, you actually can earn money and at the rate of 13% uh, estimate, you know, this is like a 10 year, 10 year rate of return. And also it has have slight mid cap index. So similar return, rate of return. Now let's also look at um, another small cap stock index portfolio with the $3,000 invested. So the, the older the kid is, the child is, they will invest into something a little bit safer. The younger the child, they will invest into aggressive growth. This is this is the first account that invested into a little bit less aggressive, so moderate growth portfolio, but only as, as, as some portion of the money that they put in will be invested into aggressive growth portfolio. And small cap stock index fund portfolio have the same expense ratio with a rate of return, one year with a 5%, three year 6%, five year 8%, and 10 year 12%. This one they invested into Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund. So all of this fund was invested through Vanguard. If you invest, if you open an account by 29 College Saving Program with uh, New York, you will actually have your money invested into Vanguard, okay? So I'm going to take you to uh, Vanguard website that they show you the three uh, different uh, age-based options. One of them is conservative age-based option, moderate age-based option, and aggressive age-based option. If you click on it, it will show you uh, the conservative age-based option from the child 0 to 2 years old will be invested into 60% in stock and 40% in bond. And if the parent click on this conservative age base, this is what they're going to be putting the money into. And then for the child who starts three to four years old, they will also have a 50% stock and 50% bond. So it depends what type of investment you actually select. If you select a conservative age base option, this is all the option we apply to your child based on their age. Now let's look at the, and if your child getting uh, older, 16 years old or 17 years old or 18 years old, they more conservative. So right here, if your child is 19 years old and older, and the money will be uh, hold into the Vanguard interest accumulation portfolio, 100% short term reserve. So which means very low risk. Now I am going to show you on the moderate age base option. So moderate base age option is also will based on their age. If you pick select the moderate age base option, this is the option for them. Zero to two years old, invested 90% into stock and 10% into bond. Child age three to four years old, invested 80% to stock, 20% to bond portfolio. So whatever their age is, and then the selection that you pick, it will apply to your portfolio. Now let's look at the uh, aggressive growth. For aggressive, age based option so this one is if you select that they will apply to your child age as as a hundred percent into stock from zero to two years old and three to four years old vanguard aggressive growth portfolio a hundred percent stock and then if your child is five to six years old they will invest the money that you put in contributed to 90 percent stock and 10 percent bond and eight seven to eight years old will be 80 percent stock 20 percent bond and then go on and, and to till 18 years old or 19 years old. 19 years old is 10 percent stock and 90 percent bond. So this is aggressive uh, age-based option.
Now, if you go into Vanguard College Saving Plan, they also have a graph for you to plug in a number. If you start open an account and then start investing for your child when uh, he or she is one years old, over 18 years, and then to attend a four-year college, this is the current annual cost right now, 2019. This is 2019 price, $21,000. Now, if you plan to contribute uh, $200, this is what you uh, will be uh, calculated. Let's see if I want to put $500 uh, into uh, the 529. So I will fund it by the age of 18 years old from 2019 to 2037. 18 years old, I will fund $25,000. And this is the earning with the 6% average rate of return. Uh, rate of annual cost increased 5%. So this is the fund if I uh, wait a little bit longer for him or for her to to get the fund until 2038, I reinvested $26,000 and not funded by me will be another $26,000, so half. So this is the earning and this is the fund that I will have to put in. Now, this is the estimate total cost for college is $216,000 and then uh, amount you plan to cover is $108,000, so 50% of the uh, expense that you need to cover for a college fund or university fund. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe.